remember Ray? When Ray collaborates with colleagues, it can be a tedious task requiring many meetings and back and forths. That's because Ray and her colleagues usually have different knowledge, perspectives and contacts on the same topic and often use different terminology to refer to the same things. This is what we call the semantic gap. In our intro video, we learned that knowledge graphs can help address and bridge the semantic gap because they are built on semantic models which help structure and capture the meaning of data in a human understandable format while at the same time teaching machines what to make out of all that information. Semantic models capture the meaning and relevant context and relationships for concepts relevant to an organization's business domain. So let's have another look at our example for vehicle. A vehicle can have certain attributes like an identification number or a color, as well as relations to other concepts relevant to the business, such as machine parts, suppliers or customers. This logical structure comes naturally and is evident to a human like Ray, but not to a machine. Also, where some users might hold valuable expertise on vehicles in the context of suppliers, others might carry insight in the context of customers. A semantic model, also referred to as an ontology, helps create a formal representation of these mental models of different stakeholders by defining the types of entities that exist in a specific business domain and the properties and relationships that can be used to describe them. Semantic models create a shared understanding of and clear semantics for the metadata available for domain-relevant concepts and help to bridge the semantic gap between different users, different business units and especially business and IT. Simply put, metadata is data that describes other data and can include anything from the types of properties or relations we looked at before or governance information on who owns or is responsible for a certain data set. For some properties or relations, like the colour of a vehicle, Ray's organisation uses a predefined collection of terms ordered by hierarchy that supplement the ontology with relevant terminology. This is what we call a vocabulary. Using a standardised vocabulary is helpful when defining the colours of vehicles, such as avoiding that some users use orange while others use peach or salmon to refer to the same thing. But wait, are those even colours? In this case, they are, and since they are clearly labelled as such in the ontology, both a human and a machine will know as much. To sum it up, not only do semantic models help bridge the semantic gap, but because they represent the logical definitions of what entities and relations are, are based on semantic web standards and can facilitate the construction of rules, they also provide the foundation for reasoning that machines and AI applications operate with. They are like a powerful lens that grants Ray and her colleagues a holistic bird's eye view on their organization's data and metadata revealing intricate hierarchies, precise definitions and crucial context, and simplifying maintenance and governance. They unlock unparalleled access to the deepest layers of interpretation and deliver contextual richness that promotes comprehensive analysis and knowledge creation and sharing that was previously unachievable.